Hey, Brad Lancaster here, author of the books Rainwater Harvesting for Drylands and Beyond and the website HarvestingRainwater.com. Uh, we just had a real intense, very short 10 minute downpour. I just want to show you real quick how one can expand the capacity of these street side basins even when you've got underground utility conflicts. All right, so the water flow is this way along the street gutter. It's filled some street side basins right there and then it overflowed and surplus filled this basin here and then filled this basin and just want to show you um, here filled this one so uh, it would have been great had this basin been even bigger but it couldn't be because we've got a number of underground utilities here that run this way so um, that was as wide as we could make that basin. So what we did is we made a slight depression in um, the pathway. So when this basin fills up, the spillover elevation right there is the same as the bottom of the curb cut inlet. So then this fills, can overflow, fill this whole basin, which it has. It might be hard for y'all to see because the mulch floating on top there, but it is full, exactly what we want. And uh, we make sure to can't flood the adjoining property, okay? If once this fills, water backs up on itself, surplus continues down the street to the next basin, okay? And I put this little public sign here that shows another option of how you could even put in a pipe from the street side basin a 2% slope into the next basin next to the property. And I'll show you how that's done next. So if you don't want the, you know, so much of a puddle in temporarily in the path, uh, you can do what we did here, no puddle, okay? So again, there's a street side basin, a little hard to see is with the rain, the water drops on the branches have brought the branches down, but here's the basin. It filled up and right, oh, hard to do this one hand. There's a pipe right there that on the bottom of the pipe is about the same elevation as the street side inlet at the curb cut. That pipe goes here and outlets into that basin, which is totally full. Again, hard to see, but it's totally full of water. Awesome. So, as a result, we have got this massive desert ironwood tree shading the west-facing wall and porch of that house because its roots are tapping into this basin and this basin. Because the roots of the trees, these native trees, they'll expand to three times the diameter of the canopy or the drip edge of the tree. So. This ironwood is tapped into that basin, that basin, this basin, that basin, this basin, that basin, the basin's in there. And the basin's in there are capturing another awesome free source of water. This is my neighbor's driveway. Water was coming down the driveway. It used to just flow right on out to the street and be lost. So I put this real subtle speed hump berm and uh, directs the water into water harvesting basins, rain gardens, having that jungle-like lush uh, front yard landscape because it's planting the rain, not draining the rain. Love it. Okay, so for more info, a lot more detail that shows you the exact elevation relationships, how to uh, make sure you've got a 2% minimum slope on your pipe, um, and how to get all the levels right. Check out my books, Rainwater Harvesting for Drylands and Beyond, especially volume two second edition the full color one which again you can get from me at from me at deep discount uh, on my website harvestingrainwater.com and thanks for watching plant that rain don't drain it grow abundant